serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The following is an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and is a high fidelity all digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyright by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. Boone High School in Ashland. We've got 18 games set on tap. We'll have four tonight. We'll have four tomorrow night. We'll have four on Wednesday. And then two Friday and four. Sorry, make yeah, make that four on Saturday as well. So that's sort of how we will set things up here as we'll have the broadcast, the exclusive broadcast here on the Show Me Sports Network of all the games here in the tournament. As uh, I'll have most of the... Uh, Calls of those games, but we'll have Ben Schmidt, Justin Kraft. We'll also have a few of the games along the way as well. So we have got some good matchups on tap this week as tonight begins day one for the girls and day one for the boys. As first game here we'll see in just a few minutes, it'll be St. Elizabeth and Boonville matching up on the girls' side. And on the boys' side, it'll be Battle facing off against Boonville. And then at the 7 o'clock game, that'll be uh, start of Southern Boone doubleheader action as Southern Boone and the girls' half will face Capital City. Then the boys' half, it'll be Southern Boone and Warrington taking on each other. As here for game one between St. Elizabeth and Boonville, head coaches, captains, and officials shake hands, go over final instructions in front of the scorer's table here down in front of me just a little bit to my left as we said lots of basketball headed your way here this week as four games tonight, four tomorrow, four Wednesday, two Friday, four on Saturday as 18 games total between last week covering the Harrisburg Basketball Tournament and this week. We'll have 34 games from last Monday through this Saturday, 34 basketball games on the air in a span of less than two weeks, which means we're awful busy. But we're glad to be a part of your late afternoon and evening to get you the uh, broadcast here on the air and give you exclusive coverage from the uh, 2023. This is the 40th annual Southern Boone Classic. They've been doing this a lot of years and look to do it a whole lot more. As last year it got canceled about halfway through due to the weather. As much as that was no fun, it was the right decision as ice and snow was uh, in the area as well as many of the participating schools in their area too. So as much as we wanted to play basketball, wanted to see games, that was the right decision to uh, have to cancel the tournament due to the weather. But this year, it's going to be awful cold this week. Windy, gray skies, but knock on wood here, dare say it, that uh, Mother Nature has removed the precipitation from the weather forecast. So Looks like we should be good to try to get the entire tournament in. At least that's what we're shooting for. As again, these two teams getting warmed up. Again, here it is girls side pool A play. As it'll be number four, St. Elizabeth. They will be taking on Boonville, who is seeded number five for the tournament here on the girls half pool A. Looks like number one is Hickman. Number four is St. Elizabeth. Number five is Boonville. And for pool B, the uh, number two seed is Southern Boone for the girls. Kirksville at number three and Capital City at number six for their pool play as they're seeded here for the boys. And pool A, it's Fort Zumwalt South, Southern Boone and Warrington. And pool B is Battle, Kirksville and Booneville. So some teams have a little bit of distance they're driving here to the tournament, but we're glad that they make their way here as it's going to be a great time here at Dave Gill Court at... High school here at Southern Boone in Ashland. We're going to take a uh, quick break and be right back and get you more of your pregame show as you're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Southern Boone Classic here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
Running out of some of your favorite Avon products and haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time? No need to worry. Avon Independent Sales Representative Michelle Cartier can help with your skin so soft, makeup, jewelry, fragrance, and skin care needs. Avon now carries cleaning supplies, clothing, daily essentials, and several small LG electronic items. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 and have your order shipped directly to your front door by shopping with Michelle at mcartee.avonrepresentative.com. Dot com or find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carti. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions well looks like we're just about ready for basketball we'll work through the starters as we go here as ball will be in the air tip will be controlled by boonville as the lady pirates will go right to left on your show me sports network media center or app however you're tuned in to our broadcast here today we're glad you're tuned in as with it will be Eichelberg, the junior. Far side with it, driving in. Shot up off the glass, no good. That rebound, though, up by Pulliam. She's got her first points. First lead goes in favor of Boonville as they've got Allie Eichelberg, the junior. Freshman Effie Morris, senior. Abby Fumeller, a junior. Zoe Davis and senior Abby Pulliam. As there's going to be a three on the other end. That one up and good. That up for St. Elizabeth. That one by Ella Lucas. She's got her first points. First lead change next time that uh, they have the basketball. We will get that for St. Elizabeth. Didn't have national anthem or starting lineups here. Driving through the paint. Shot up no good for Boonville. I'll get an offensive rebound, though. That shot was by Fumeller. Foul will be called on Olin Schlager, the seniors first, team first. So inbound will go into Eichelberg here. They'll give it off to Fumeller. As down low in the paint, turnaround right-hander was blocked as Davis tried to go up with it. Rebound comes down, St. Elizabeth goes left to right here on your Show Me Sports Network Media Center app. However you tuned in, we're glad you're listening. There's a shout-out from the low post, no good. As for St. Elizabeth, well, I'll get it next time. Told you I'd get the starters here in just a second. Next possession we will get that done. Top of the key with it will be Morris. She'll look near side. Now go back right. Now give it off to Michael Berger in the paint. There's going to be a few Mellers. She traveled with it. So the starting five out on the court for the Lady Hornets. We've got a senior in Tori Kimna, a junior in Lauren Strimpf, a senior in Addie Olenschlager, junior Ella Lucas, and a senior in Sydney Engelmeyer to round out their five, almost a steal there, contact and a foul. Eckelberg will pick up her first team first for Boonville. So we'll go back, stay with rather the Lady Hornets. 6.15 left to go. It's a 3-2 to two lead for the Lady Hornets over the Lady Pirates. As bounce pass near side with it to Lucas. Free throw line with it. Engelmeyer has it. There's a three up from the far side on the iron. No good. Rebound will come down to Boonville. That shot taken. There's going to be in the paint shot up, no good contact, no call. That shot uh, taken by Davis. Kimna had that three that wouldn't fall. Far side with it. They'll play a little catch with it. 
Around the horn near side is Strength down low. Shot up no good by Inglemeyer, but a foul called, so she'll go to the free throw line for a couple of tosses. That foul called on Zoe Davis, her first, team second. So it'll be two shots here. First free throw up, good. Inglemeyer has got her first points of the game. Strumpf checks out. Checking in is Reagan Wobey. Second free throw, no good. But it will be an inbound here for Boonville. 5.38 left to go here. Two-point lead at 4-2 for Lady Hornets. Boonville has the basketball. Angel Berger had it for a moment. There's going to be a shot far side. No good. Offensive rebound by Davis. Too strong on the way back up. Rebound comes down the other way. As St. Elizabeth will have the basketball quickly into front court with it. Is Kim now? There's going to be a pass taken away, though. So still a 4 2 ball game. Boonville has the basketball driving in. There's a whistle and a travel. Was trying to go up with it was Morris. She ran into a brick wall down there. Checking in is going to be Kerrigan Cooper, the freshman. She'll check in for Fumeller. So inbound here for St. Elizabeth. Pressure put on. Two-point ball game. Trying to get the steal ball. is going to be tipped up and will be taken away. Eichelberg goes up. He'll strip to the ball. Goes back the other way to the Lady Hornets as we're under five minutes to go here in this opening period. As with it will be Kemna. Near side, she dishes it off to Reagan Wobey, who's checked in the ball game. The freshman has her first points. Makes it a 6-2 ball game. 4-35 and counting here in this opening period. With it here on the near side. Michael Berger will have it. She'll get it back. She'll put the right-hand dribble in, free throw on, kick it to Morris, top of the key. She'll hold it above her head. Now put the left-hand dribble in and whistle and a foul. That one called on Kimna, her first team second. 4.19 left to go here in this opening period. Will be an inbound for Boonville. As Cooper will start the play, she'll get it into the hands of Morris. So Morris will leave a near side to Eichelberger. Now back to Morris out front. Looking in the paint, pass tipped up. It'll be taken away. Going the other way are the Lady Hornets. As trying to get around traffic is Lucas. She'll give it straight away. Three up by Woby. Good. She's got five points. It's now a 9-2 lead for the Lady Pirates. And Lady, sorry, uh, for Lady Hornets, their number four seed, number five seed for Boonville. There's a shot up and good. That one up by Davis. So she's got for her first points. That ends this little run here for St. Elizabeth. Bounce pass in the paint. Left-hander up and good. That one up by Olenschlager. She's got her first points. As we're at 318 left to go here. Down low with it is Pulliam. She lost the handle. Davis will get it, but they say jump ball first. Possession arrow points the other direction. So will be St. Elizabeth basketball. As Engelmeyer will check in, she will check in for Charlie Dumal, who is in the game for a little bit. St. Elizabeth will have the basketball. Cross-court pass over to the far side with it. Now near side is Heckemeyer. That's Danny Heckmeyer. She'll get it back. Looking down low, sophomore. In the ballgame, straightaway three up by Lucas. Well, short, trying to save the rebound. However, he was out of bounds. Could not do so. So we'll go to Boonville. Again, it's an 11-4 advantage here. For St. Elizabeth. Far side with it in the paint. Can't get a shot up, so Boonville will still have it. Step in, shot up, no good. Of my Imhoff. That'll be on Strump, her first, team third. So Bella Imhoff, the freshman, has two tosses coming. First one up, no good on the iron. 
She will have a second free throw coming. Davis and Eichelberg both check in. Second free throw up, no good as well, off the front of the rim. Rebound controlled by Heckemeyer. There's going to be a pass, though, taken away in front court as Imhoff will get the steal. She will try to go up with it, shot no good. So it'll go back the other way. Lady Hornets with it. Strump will have it. She'll feed it far side to Lucas. Left wing with it is Woby. Cross court to Strumpf. Near side with it, putting the dribble down. Heckmeyer. She's going to try to feed it down low to Engelmeyer, but ball's going to be taken away quickly in front court with it, laying it up off the glass offline. That was no good. That shot up by Cooper, by a Cooper rather. 30 second timeout. We'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage from the uh, first game of the 2023 Southern Moon Classic here on the Show Me Sports Network. There's no better way to celebrate a special event or show someone just how important they are to you than gifting them something handcrafted from Country with a Heart. Handmade in mid-Missouri, Country with a Heart specializes in hand-built woodworking projects for every occasion. Their design collection includes children's furniture, doll furniture, household items, holiday decor, outdoor decorations, custom projects, and everything in between. To view their full inventory of projects, visit countrywithaheart.com and find them on Facebook by joining the Country with a Heart group page. I say to Elizabeth, we'll have the basketball here. As nice spin move down low, shot up no good by Strump. Rebound will be knocked out of bounds. So we'll go back the other way for Boonville. As it's an 11 to four advantage for the Lady Hornets. So we're nearing a minute and a half to go here in this opening period. There's gonna be a steal. As knocking the ball out will be uh, Kimna. She'll give it off in her front court to Strump. Back to Ken Kimna. Schlager has it. There's going to be a right hander too strong there by Engelmeyer. Rebound will be tracked down in the right corner. Will be a jump ball call. Possession pointing back the other way, so Boonville will get the basketball. Boonville under head coach Jared Runyon for St. Elizabeth. Quentin Voss, the head coach. So Boonville trails by seven. Minute and ten left to go here in this opening period. It's down low with it. It's going to be Imhoff. She'll dish it off. Shot up by Davis. Good. She's got four points. Cuts that double-digit lead down to single digits at nine. At 13 to four. Olenschlager will have it now. A pass in the front court to Strump. They break that timeline. Strump will need to get rid of it. Free throw line, Engelmeyer has it, far side. Now they'll dish it off near side to Strumpf as they play catch. She'll fire up a three. That one no good. Rebound comes down the other way for Boonville as they'll let traffic clear. Does Eckelberg near side with it, three up by Cooper, no good. Rebound will be tipped out. It'll be controlled by Eichelberg. Though, however, she cannot get a shot to go and either comes down to St. Elizabeth. Driving in, shot up is good by Kimna. That comes with single digits on the clock. Four, three. It'll have to be a three here. It'll be straight away up and no good by Michael Berger. So that takes us to the end of the first period of play. It is a 13-6 advantage for St. Elizabeth, we'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Southern Boone Classic here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10. 
doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! A play underway here as St. Elizabeth will have the basketball. They lead by a seven-point margin. Had double digits at one point. But Boonville has cut that down. Far side with it. It's going to be Lucas. There's a turnaround. Jay up no good by Engelmeyer. Rebound comes down. And Boonville will take it the other way. Near side with it. That'll be Morris. She'll feed it around the horn. She gave it off to Fumeller for a moment. Down low, Lucas has it. Left-hander up by Pulliam is good. She's got four points. The lead now at five at 13 to eight as Boonville chipping away this lead slowly but surely. Kemna will have it. She'll get it into front court. As with it, Olin Schlager gives it off to Lucas. There's a three up far side, too strong. Rebound will come down into the hands of Davis. She'll quickly get it into front court, but off the hands of Imhoff, too strong for her. Right idea, though, to get it to her as she was streaking through the paint, but goes out of bounds. So we'll go back to St. Elizabeth. 5.40, sorry, 6.40 on the clock. There's going to be a pass knocked out. That'll go out and visit the concession stand. As it goes out the doors, out into the uh, lobby and concession stand area. So but he tracked that down out there. 6.35 left to go here in this first half. St. Elizabeth leading 13-8. to Inbound will go into Kemna. She'll give it off to Wobey working to the left. She'll get it back straight away. Now pass it around the horn. Near side, Kemna has it. She'll try to work low. Nothing there. Wobey back with it. Down low. Pass knocked out. Was intended for Olin Schlager. As coming out of the with it is Boonville. It'll be stripped out of the hands of Imha. Or sorry, that's Morris, but... It'll be knocked out of bounds. It'll be last touched by St. Elizabeth. So break there for Boonville as they trail by five. There's a shot up by Davis in the paint. She has two more points. Now a three-point lead here. Again, the lead just being chipped away ever so slowly. Was double digits at one point, but has been cut down. Driving in far side with it. That is Strumpf. Straight away, had to go through her hands as Dumal. Now Kimna will get it back. Cross-court pass far side into the hands of Wobie. It'll be knocked out. She got it back, gives it back to Kimna. She drives in, floats it in. She's got four points. A lead back to five at 15 to 10. Nearing five and a half to go this first half. Far side with it. Imhoff will have it. Down low, they looked for Pulliam. Can't do anything there. Gives it back to Fumeller. She dishes it off Davis. Her turnaround shot in. Good. So Davis has got two more. It'll be, it'll be a full timeout here for Boonville. So we'll take a quick break and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Southern Boone Classic here on the Show Me Sports Network. Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers. With some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find out more on Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, a veteran-owned business. Hi, I'm retired Army Sergeant Trent Dirks, and I want to tell you about an organization that saved and changed my life forever. Retrieving Freedom provides highly trained service dogs to veterans with disabilities and children with autism absolutely free of charge, thanks to the generous donations and support from people just like you. Experts from Retrieving Freedom help throughout the entire process from fostering programs through service dog placement. Retrieving Freedom gave me the skilled service dog, Tracer, who has been my best friend in my lifeline. To find out more about how you can get involved, volunteer, foster, or to donate, visit their website, Retrieving retrievingfreedom.org. Retrieving Freedom, changing lives through the training and placement of service dogs for veterans with disabilities and children with autism. 
A full timeout called there by Boonville as they've cut this lead to three at 15 to 12. 5.03 left to go here in this first half. St. Elizabeth will have the basketball. Driving in, can't get a shot up. He is Lucas. As Davis got ran into, she is slow to get up. She's got a limp on that right leg. Does have a sleeve on that right shin and right calf area, but she'll stay out there. As St. Elizabeth will have the basketball. Wobie gets it. Gives the near side to Strumpf. Back to Woby. Back to Strumpf. She'll back it out towards center circle. Now far side with it. She'll work it off to Lucas. They're looking down low. There's a loose ball. It'll go the other way for Boonville. As Boonville will have the basketball free throw line. Turn around. Shot up. No good. Can't get it to fall as Davis, but she will go to the free throw line. Is that foul going to be called on Lucas? That's number one on her team. Foul number four. So Davis will have a couple of tosses coming. First one up, good. So she makes that. She cuts that game down to a two-point lead. She can hit this. She'll have double digits already. So Davis eyes the bucket. That free throw up, good. So she's got 10 points in the game. The lead, one point at 15 to 14. St. Elizabeth was so quick to get on the board and put up Double-digit numbers, but it's since cooled off a little bit. Strumpf will have it. I should say cooled off quite a bit. As with it, there's a three up by Lucas. Good. Well, I say that. They find a three there. A lead at four at 18 to 14. Free throw line. There's a left-hander up. Banked it in. Did senior Zoe Lang, she's got her first points of the game. The lead at two at 18 to 14. Under four minutes to go here in this second period of play. As driving in, floats it up, got it to fall in. That one is Reagan Woby, so she's got seven points. Just like that, it's back to a four-point lead. Lang has it down low. This pass was too strong for Pulliam. Knocked out of bounds. Does go off St. Elizabeth. Kimna checks in. Also, Olin Schlager both check in. Checking out is Strumpf as well as Lucas. So it will be an inbound for Boonville. As getting it in is Pulliam in the paint. There's a shot up, no good. Offensive put back, that one no good. That up by Imhoff, and she is fouled by Olenschlager, her second, team fifth. So it'll be an inbound. So there will be two shots here. Imhoff's first free throw, no good. She is 0 for 3 at the charity stripe. 324 left to go here. This first half. Second free throw. No good as well. Rebound will be tipped out. Saved by Kimna. As they'll get it here on the near side to Strumpf. Back to Kimna. Far side. They'll get Engelmeyer with it. Straight away. Kimna. I'll just play a little catch. Strumpf had it. Far side, that'll be uh, Heckmeyer with it. There's a shot up straight away. Three-pointer up, good by Kimna. Just like that, it's back to a 23-16 seven-point lead. Near side with it. Eckelberger had it. There's going to be a pass too strong for Imhoff and a whistle and a foul. Michael Berger picks up her second, team third. She will check out. Checking in will be Morris. So St. Elizabeth leads 23-16, 233 and counting here in this first half. Kim will have it. 
Drives in, almost traveled, threw it away. As Morris will get the steal, she'll race across the timeline, have a near side free throw line, back in her way in. There's a shot up and good by Pulliam. Nice assist there by Davis. That makes it a seven-point game, 23-18. There's going to be another steal. Davis will have it, gives it down low. Shot up no good by Morris. That foul called. As Inglemeyer, her first team sixth. First free throw, no good. Morris misses the first one. Second free throw, that one also no good. Rebound will be knocked down. It'll stay with Boonville underneath their own bucket. It's a quick inbound. Into the paint, it'll be a jump ball. It's got it into Pulliam. And a, and a uh, jump ball, possession again points in favor. Uh, Boonville, so quick inbound. There's going to be a three up from the right wing, hit the side of the backboard. That by Cooper. That was no good. Rebound will come down to St. Elizabeth. They'll go the other way. Kimna has it. Cross-court pass to Lucas. Down low and a foul. That one called on Pulliam, her first, team fourth. Battle Spartans have made their way here to the uh, court. They have the next game. There's going to be a shot up no good. Second effort by Inglemeyer. She's got her first bucket. Now it's a 25-18 ball game, a minute 34 and counting here in this first half. Free throw line with it is Davis. She drives in. Her shot up good off the glass. She has got 12 points. Lucas will have it near side. She'll give it off to Heckmeyer. They'll break the timeline there, no problem. Moby will have it. Now back to uh, Heckmeyer. Far side with it. I'll play a little catch around the perimeter. Kimna has it, had it. She'll get it back down low. Looking for Inglemeyer. Pass will be knocked out of her hands, taken the other way by Boonville. So we're under 60 to go. Near side. They'll give it off to uh, Fumeller. She'll try to drive in, leave it left wing for three. Pulliam rattled it in. She's got 11 points. That cuts that lead back to two at 25-23. With it across the timeline, Wobie will dribble around, let traffic clear near side. That is Heckmeyer with it. Down low for Inglemeyer. Her left hander up no good, but she'll be fouled. That'll either be on Davis or Pulliam. It'll be on Davis, number two on her team, foul number five. 27.9 seconds left to go here. Two-point ball game here in this first half. First free throw up, no good. Bricked it to Inglemeyer. She's one for two at the free throw line. She does have a second free throw coming. She eyes the bucket here after she gets the basketball. That one up. No good as well off the iron. However, offensive rebound. It'll be taken away, though, by Boonville. As Imhoff will get the steal. Cooper with it. We've got 18 on the clock. Continuing to wind down. Morris will have it. Far side. Imhoff. Bounce pass to uh, Morris, there's going to be a loose ball on the other end, though, taken away by Woby. Near side shot up. Kimna missed the point blank range. One second, there'll be a shot from half court. Hits the side of the rim and goes out as that takes us to halftime. As your score here, St. Elizabeth 25, Boonville 23. We'll take a quick break and be back and get into your halftime scoring summary as well as a few other activities. You're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Southern Moon Classic here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
Creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading, professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at Sawdust Sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community wood shop. In today's world, injury prevention is at the top of everyone's list. However, heat-related occurrences get routinely overlooked. Zealous WBGT puts that front and center. By using cutting-edge formulas and technology, Zealous WBGT streamlines and simplifies obtaining and documenting wet bulb globe temperature readings. With a simple touch of a button, you can check WBGT anywhere in the world, receiving alerts when the WBGT goes over the threshold you select. Join the stress-free way to protect student-athletes, employees, and overall operations from extreme heat by downloading the free Zealous WBGT app today. Save time, save money, save lives with Zealous WBGT. Hello, Blake Gasaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? Well, part of the uh, boys team is out there getting warmed up for our next contest. We'll switch gears, go back to the boys side as it'll be uh, Battle and Boonville. The uh, Battle Spartans out there getting some shots in, getting loosened up before their contest as uh, St. Elizabeth made their way back out to get warmed up for the second half of their game as they lead 25-23 here at halftime. Taking a look at the first half scoring summary. Leading score for St. Elizabeth, I guess I should say leading scorers, is senior Antori Kimna. She has seven points. Freshman Reagan Wobie has seven points. Six points by junior Ella Lucas. Three points by senior Sydney Engelmeyer. And two points by senior Addie Olenschlager round out their scoring. Taking a look at the scoring for the uh, Lady Pirates. Twelve points put in. Leading score between either team by junior Zoe Davis. Nine points by senior Abby Pulliam. Two points by senior Zoe Lang to round out. Their scoring a ball game has uh, had one lead change. Boonville led early, and then St. Elizabeth has not looked back, but we're only a two-point game here at halftime, 25-23. Taking a look at the foul situation for Boonville. Two fouls by Eichelberger, two by Davis, one on Pulliam. For St. Elizabeth, two fouls on Olenschlager, one apiece on Kimna, as well as Trumpf and Lucas to round out this first half. Again, 25-23 score here in favor of St. Elizabeth. This is game one of four, and it's game one of, it's one of four today, I should say, game one of 18 that we will see here over the tournament here this week as uh, C, the uh, Boonville Lady Pirates have made their way back from the locker room, so they'll get warmed up here. Still uh, just a little under six minutes to go here in uh, at halftime. We're going to take a quick break and be back. And uh, get into more of our halftime shows. You're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Southern Boone Classic here on the Show Me Sports Network. Running out of some of your favorite Avon products and haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time? No need to worry. Avon Independent Sales Representative Michelle Carty can help with your skin so soft, makeup, jewelry, fragrance, and skin care needs. Avon now carries cleaning supplies, clothing, daily essentials, and several small LG electronic items. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 and have your order shipped directly to your front door by shopping with Michelle at mcarty.avonrepresentative.com. Dot com or find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carty. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. 
Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions there's no better way to celebrate a special event or show someone just how important they are to you than gifting them something handcrafted from Country with a Heart. Handmade in mid-Missouri, Country with a Heart specializes in hand-built woodworking projects for every occasion. Their design collection includes children's furniture, doll furniture, household items, holiday decor, outdoor decorations, custom projects, and everything in between. To view their full inventory of projects, visit countrywithaheart.com and find them on Facebook by joining the Country with a Heart group page. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform made right here in Missouri. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take the walk, Eddie! Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom, using large format, high powered lasers. With some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. The state of the art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, headstones with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one of a kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Find them on Facebook at Han Custom Laser Engraving or call 573 489 8732 to find find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business hi i'm retired army sergeant trent dirks and i want to tell you about an organization that saved and changed my life forever retrieving freedom provides highly trained service dogs to veterans with disabilities and children with autism absolutely free of charge thanks to the generous donations and support from people just like you experts from retrieving freedom help throughout the entire process from fostering programs through service dog placement retrieving freedom gave me the skilled service dog tracer who has been my best friend in my lifeline to find out more about how you can get involved volunteer foster or to donate visit their website retrievingfreedom.org. Retrieving Freedom, changing lives through the training and placement of service dogs for veterans with disabilities and children with autism. Well, both teams finishing up their warm-ups here at halftime. As again, two-point ball game, 25-23. Here as we begin play in the first day of girls' action here for the 2023 Southern Boone Classic. Blake Gazzaway here with you, bringing you coverage all week long, I'll have most of the games, but we will have some coverage provided by Ben Schmidt as well as Justin Kraft. They'll have some games along the way as well. We've got four tonight, four tomorrow, four Wednesday, two Friday, four Saturday. So a busy, busy schedule between uh, last week's Harrisburg basketball tournament for girls and boys and ours here today for the Southern Boone Classic. We'll have 34 basketball games on the air in less than a two-weeks time period. So good thing we like calling games here. And covering <laughs> covering uh, basketball as well as all of the athletics, area athletics, as well as Southern Boone athletics. Because we've got a lot of games we'll be racking up here. 
play underway. St. Elizabeth will have the basketball. They'll go right to left on your Show Me Sports Network broadcast here in the second half of action. Lucas has it go through her hands in the left wing. It'll go back to Boonville. So again, Boonville trails 25-23. Lady Pirates will have the basketball. They'll go left to right here in this second half here on the exclusive broadcast home for the 2023 Southern Boone Classic. Show Me Sports Network. There's a three up. Good. That three up by Few Miller. Her three is good. That gives us our second lead change. Lady Pirates lead the uh, Lady Hornets 26-25 as Lucas will have it. Give it off near side to a Strump. Far side. She'll pass it off to Akimna. There's going to be a three straight away. That one offline. That taken by Lucas. No good. Rebound will come down. Out of bounds. They'll say it belongs to St. Elizabeth. So they'll have it underneath their own bucket as they're looking to get something in the paint. Bounce pass over here to the near side to Strump. Around the horn they go. Kimno will have it far side. That'll be Lucas with it. Back to Strump. As there's going to be a pass taken away as it'll be a steal. Bounce pass near side. Shot up. No good. Missed it. Offensive rebound, that one up, no good. That'll be tipped around. That first shot was by Echelberger. The second one up by Few Miller. They missed both of those. As St. Elizabeth looking to take the lead back, they trail by one. Far side with it will be Lucas. Near side is Strump. Straight away, that is Kimna with it. There's a three up. That one good. That by Lucas. She's got nine points. The lead goes back to St. Elizabeth as they lead by 228-26. In the paint, down low, shot up with the left hand, good by Pulliam. She's got 11, she reached double digits and she's fouled. That one is gonna be called on Engelmeyer, her second team first here in the second half. So ball game tied at 28 apiece. First time we've had a tie here. Free throw up and good for Boonville as Pulliam hits that. She's got 12 points. That's our fourth lead change of the day. In pressure here for St. Elizabeth as we'll have a whistle and did not get across in time is St. Elizabeth. Boonville will get the basketball back. Again, they lead by one at 29-28. So good work of the pressure there on the inbound for them to get it back for Boonville. Far side with it. That will be Pulliam. She'll dish it off to Morris. Back to the left wing. For a moment, that was Fumeller. She'll get it back. Another three up. That one nicks the front of the rim. Won't go. Rebound taken the other way by St. Elizabeth. 5.50 left to go this third period. Near side with it will be Strump. She drives in, lays up. An awkward shot, no good. However, getting the loose ball, it'll stay with St. Elizabeth. Three up, rattled it in, does Kimna. That lead goes back to St. Elizabeth by two at 31-29. Boonville will have it. Morris with it straight away. Free throw line, that's Pulliam. She'll get it back, trying to work in near side. Loose ball, knocked out of her hands. It'll go back the other way. St. Elizabeth with it. The Lady Hornets quickly go across the timeline. Kimna has it. Gives it off far side. For a second, that was Wobie. There's going to be a three up. Tried to bank it in. No good by Strumpf. And ball goes out of bounds. Will go the other way for Boonville. 5.02 left to go here. And this third period of play. It's the uh, first day, game of the day. First game of the tournament. It's game one of four today. Game one of 18 overall. First game of the girls' day one. Next game we'll have. We'll switch over to boys' action as Davis has it. Lost the uh, basketball, and she's going to get called for a foul. Davis is third. Pardon me, her third. Team first here as she lost the basketball, then had to go find it and tried to create some separation with the body. There's going to be a whistle and a quick foul on Morris. That's number one on her team foul, number two. 
Again, as we said, two twin billings here for today and tonight. As we'll cap off with Southern Boone, boys and girls action. They'll have game three and four, respectively, here tonight. So look to be a packed gym for those two games. Dumal had it for a moment. Gives it off to Kemna, right wing with it. Trying to drive in is Heckmeyer. Nothing doing there. They'll pass around the horn. Wobie has it. Driving in floats a right-hander. Can't get it to fall as Kemna. Trying to save it is Dumal, but goes out of bounds. So she will check out. Checking back in is Engelmeyer. Again, two-point ball game. 4.29 left to go here in this third period. 31-29. Lady Hornets over the Lady Pirates. So jogging across the timeline. Here's Boonville. There's a wide open shot. Puglia missed it. A step in from the free throw line. As quickly in a front guard with it. Kimna has it far side. There's a long two up. That one no good. That taken by Strump. Offensive putback up no good by Engelmeyer. Ball out of bounds will stay with the uh, Lady Hornets. Heckemeyer will check out. Dumo will check in. Inbound will go in left wing. Three up by Kemna. No good. Too strong. Offensive rebound, though, by Lucas. As that shot, no. So on the other end, pass will be knocked out. Will stay with Boonville. Three fifty-two left to go here in this third period of action. Get a two-point ball game for the Lady Hornets. As they'll be an inbound, it'll be stolen by the Lady Hornets. Getting the steal is going to be Olin Schlager. As again, pressure put on here. They will break the timeline. Really, no problem. Moby will have it. Drives in, kisses it off the glass. Good. She's got nine points. That lead at four now at thirty-three twenty-nine. Boonville has the basketball straight away. Free throw line, that's Pulliam with it. Gives it off, driving in, throws it up underhanded. Shot no good. Offensive putback, that one also no good. That by Morris. And we'll have a foul there on the rebound. That'll be called on Olin Schlager, her third team second. Inbound here, quickly goes into Eichelberger. Her three up, no good. Rebound will be uh, taken way outside as timeout called by Boonville. They'll take a 30-second timeout. We'll just keep it right here. This comes at 314 mark. Left to go here in this third period. Blake Gaza will here with you. Don't forget, if you've not done so, be sure and head over to our Facebook page. You can give our page a like. You can give it a share as well. And also... Find us on Twitter at Show Me Sports Net is our handle. We didn't have enough characters for network. So just Show Me Sports Net on Twitter, on Facebook, Show Me Sports Network, also on YouTube. If you've not done so, be sure and head over and click on the subscription page for our YouTube channel. It's always free. Also, you can uh, click on the uh, notification button as well, let you know anytime we post content. So that way you won't miss anything because we've got some exciting things coming down the pipe here for our YouTube channel. You. We'll not want to miss those, so we appreciate the support. So head over and support that when you have a chance. Zeckelberger has it, lost the handle, got it back, gives it in the right wing. Down low for Lucas. In the paint, tries to go up with it, and she traveled as she got a little contact, shuffled the feet. It'll go back to St. Elizabeth, who leads 33-29. 2 left here in this third period. Engelmeyer will check out. Kimna will check in. So they break the timeline here as Wobie has it in front court. Near side with it is going to be Strump. They'll fire another three up by Kimna. Good. She's got 13 points. That makes it a seven-point lead now at 36-29. Straight away with it will be Imhoff. She just threw it away as intended to get it to a teammate. It was 
partially knocked out of bounds. Not by much, but a fingertip, but does go outside. Ends up in the hand codes of hand ends up into the hands of head coach Jared Runyon. So Boonville still keeps the basketball far side with it. A few Miller has it in the paint, driving in, shot up is good. Is that up by Imhoff? She's got her first bucket of the game. A lead cut to five at 36-31. There's going to be a steal at midcourt as with it. There's a shot up by Imhoff for three. That one no good. Rebound will come down into the hands of St. Elizabeth. They've got numbers the other way. Driving in, shot up is no good. That one by Wolby. Rebound will come down for Boonville as we're under two to go this third period. Stop, shot up, off the glass, no good by Eichelberger. Rebound again. Quickly in the front court to Wolby. She's trying to drive in her shot up. Good. And she'll go to the free throw line. She has got 11 points, trying to make it 13. That on Davis, her fourth team third, so she'll check out of the ball game. So at the free throw line with the old-fashioned three-point play chance is Wolby. She'll eye the bucket, free throw up, no good. Rebound will come down in the hands of Boonville as they'll get an outlet pass off to Emhoff. Quickly into front court. They'll have a pass knocked out. However, it'll be out of bounds. Tried to save it was Wobie, but could not get it back in play without coming down out of bounds. Boonville will have the basketball. They trail by seven at 38-31. In the paint, there's going to be Eichelberger. Her shot up good. Kissed it off the glass. Her first bucket. She finds the corner of the square there. Banks it in. Now it's a 38-33 ball game in the paint. Ball's going to be on the court, but saving it is Strumpf. Sorry, that's not Strumpf. That's Wobie in a whistle and a foul. That'll be called on Morris. That's her second, team fourth. So a couple of tosses coming here. That one up and good. That up by Kimna. Second free throw up, that one no good. It falls out. Rebound comes down to Pulliam. Quickly in the front court with it is Eichelberger. It's two on one. She'll decide, sorry, one on two. She'll decide to wait for help as we're at 60 seconds to go here in this third period. Looking down low. Now she'll get it back to Eichelberger. There's going to be a three up far side. Good. That up and good by Cooper, her first points of the game. We're at 45 seconds to go. It's a three-point game once again, 39-36. Out in the center circle with it is Kemna. She'll give it off here on the near side to uh, Engelmeyer. Far side, three up by Kemna. No good. And a rebound and a whistle, and that'll be a number three on Engelmeyer. Team foul number three. So we'll go back the other way. Boonville will have the basketball. They trail again by three at 39-36. 29.4 seconds left to go here in this third period. There's going to be a ball that will be taken away. Nice job of Kimna to get the steal. She'll wait for help. They'll reset the offense. They look for one shot here. Engelmeyer will have it left wing. They give it off to Strumpf. She'll have it, try to work in, and she's hacked on the arm. That'll be uh, number three on Morris, team foul number five. So at the free throw line, a couple of shots here will be Strumpf. So she will take a couple dribbles, eye the bucket, first free throw, good. So she'll have a second one, that's her first points in the game. She'll have a second free throw coming. Nine and a half seconds left to go here in this third period. That one up, no good, missed everything. 
Took a little bit too much off, pushed it a little bit to the left. So Will, along to Boonville. As they trail by four, 40 to 36. As they will get it into Fumeller. She drives in. They got to get a shot off. There's a long three up. That was partially blocked. That by Eichelberger. And that will take us to the end of the third period. As it is a 40 to 36 advantage in favor of St. Elizabeth. We'll take a quick break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage. The 2023 Southern Moon Classic here on the Show Me Sports Network. Creating custom, handcrafted woodworking projects has never been easier. Become a member of Sawdust Studios and enjoy 24-7 access to a woodworker's paradise. Outfit with industry-leading, professional-grade tools, Sawdust Studios offers endless woodworking possibilities. Don't have woodworking experience? No problem, as Sawdust Studios offers affordable classes from a community of woodworkers, experienced designers, and master craftsmen. Youth classes are also offered for those junior woodworkers. For more information, search Sawdust Studios on Facebook or find them online at Sawdust Sawdust247.com. Sawdust Studios, your community woodshop. In today's world, injury prevention is at the top of everyone's list. However, heat-related occurrences get routinely overlooked. Zealous WBGT puts that front and center. By using cutting-edge formulas and technology, Zealous WBGT streamlines and simplifies obtaining and documenting wet bulb globe temperature readings. With a simple touch of a button, you can check WBGT anywhere in the world, receiving alerts when the WBGT goes over the threshold you select. Join the stress-free way to protect student-athletes, employees, and overall operations from extreme heat by downloading the free Zealous WBGT app today. Save time, save money, save lives with Zealous WBGT. A play underway here already in this fourth period as it's a four-point ball game. Boonville trailing but has the basketball as they'll look down low, trying to back their way in. Can't do anything as Imhoff. They'll feed a far side to Eckelberger. They'll go around the horn down low once again to Imhoff trying to uh, work down there. Still nothing open. There's a three up. Rattled it in. Three goes in by Fumeller. She's got six points. The two trays she has coming here in the second half. Back to a one-point lead at 40-39 to 39 for St. Elizabeth. Lead been chipped down once again by Boonville. With it is Dumal. Now there's Lucas for three. No good. Rebound will be Held on to, and they're going to get a whistle and a foul. So that'll be called on Strump. That's her second team force. She had the hand in there, but could not draw the jump ball. Instead, picks up the foul. So one-point ball game, 40-39. to 39. Boonville trailing, but has the basketball three far side. Good! That three up by Cooper. She's got two trays. That's lead change number six, and if I recall, that happened... Earlier, there's a shot on the other end. That went up by Wobie. She's got 13. We're tied at 42, 42 second tie of the ball game. But I believe last time Boonville had the lead, that was a three by Cooper as well. There's a whistle and a foul down low. That one called on Kylie Rodman, the freshman, her first team fifth. There's going to be a quick shot up. No good. Way too strong by Pulliam. So could not give themselves the lead back. Was Boonville. Six and a half to go here in the ball game. Out at center circle. Kemna will have it. She'll direct traffic. She'll leave it near side for Lucas. As Trump will have it. Wraparound pass down low. There'll be a reach in foul. That'll be on Imhoff. Her first team sixth. So Emhoff will pick up number one. Next foul on Boonville will put St. Elizabeth at the free throw line and the single bonus for the remainder of the game. Quick inbound into the hands of Inglemeyer. Her turnaround shot up no good. Pulliam gets the rebound. It's a 42-42 tie ball game here. As across the timeline will be Morris. She'll give it off to Molly Schuster, the senior. She's checked in. Eckelberger, shot up good. That makes it back to a Pirate lead, Lady Pirates lead here by two at 44-42. As we're just shy of the 5 o'clock hour, Blake Gazaway here with you. Straight away, Kimna had it. 
Now she gives it off driving in. Nice assist there for Woby. However, couldn't handle it. Was Inglemeyer. They'll have to reset. They keep the basketball, though. Lucas has it. Gives it off left wing to Woby. She'll work right now. Go left. Back to Lucas. Drives in. Shot up. No. Rebound, though, will go into the hands of Woby. She'll kick it far side to Kebna. She won't be able to take a three there. His pass was a little offline. Schrumpf will have it. There's contact and a whistle. Number four on Morris, the freshman. Team foul number seven. So free throw line will be Woby. She is 0 for 1 at the free throw line. She's got 13 points. Could make it 14 and or 15 if she could hit the first one. And she'd earn the second free throw. First one, no good. So she does not earn the bonus. Rebound comes down into the hands of Fumeller. Uh, she will give it off. On the far side, Imhoff, there's a three up. That one, no good. However, offensive possession. Rebound by Pulliam trying to drive in. Ball's on the court. They will get it out top of the key. Now near side with it is Fumeller. Far side. Cooper has it. Pulliam with it. Down low. Driving in is Davis. Her shot missed everything. She falls down. Rebound will go the other way. Contact and a foul. As that will be on Fumeller. Her first. The uh, team eighth foul here. So Wobie will be at the free throw line once again. With a one and one opportunity. She missed her first free throw. Just a few minutes ago with a one and one opportunity and then missed a old fashioned three point play before that. She makes that one though. That makes it a one point game at 44 43 in favor of St. Elizabeth. Second free throw up, good. She makes both of those. She's got 15 points. We're tied for our third time now at 44 apiece. Near side with it will be uh, Fumeller, far side. That is Cooper driving in as Davis. She has it poked out of her hands, but Fumeller will get it here on the near side. They'll give it to Pulliam. She'll drive along the baseline, double team there. Far side, Cooper, left wing. Down low, Davis will get it. Fires up a shot again, no good. She hits the deck once again. And a full timeout called by St. Elizabeth. We'll take a quick break. This comes with 4.05 left to go here in this fourth period. So we'll take a quick break. You're listening to exclusive coverage from the 2023 Southern Boone Classic here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hello, Blake Gasaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? Full timeout called there by the Lady Hornets as they lead. Sorry, they are tied rather, 44 to 44, 405 left to go here in this fourth period. As they do have the basketball, so we're halfway through this final period in regulation. Kimna will hold the ball above her head. She'll give a pass off near side to Lucas. She'll look down low, nothing doing there. They'll get it. To Wobie. They'll go around the horn. Kemna with it out front again. Olin Schlager had it. Left elbow shot up. Good. That one taken by Lucas. She's got 11 points. Lead will go back to St. Elizabeth. Morris has it. She just had it knocked out of bounds over on the far side. So we'll stay with Boonville. 
Morris will check out. Eichelberger will check in. 3.25 left on the clock. Eichelberger will get it back straight away. Bounce pass free throw line. Driving in. Shot up. Good. That one by Imhoff. She's got four points. We're tied at 46 apiece now. Fourth tie of the game. Bounce pass near side to Engelmeyer. She'll give it off to Strumpf. Far side with it. That's Kimna. She tries to drive in. Ball poked out of her hands, so they'll do it again. Wobie's going to check back in. Checking out is Kimna. St. Elizabeth will get the inbound way out front. Has to go track it down as Wobie. There's a three up and good. That one by Lucas. She's got 14 points. That makes it a 49-46 lead back to the Lady Hornets. Driving in, ball is stripped out of the hands of Imhoff, and we'll go the other way on the jump ball call as St. Elizabeth will have the basketball. So inbound will go into the hands of Strumpf. Two and a half minutes to go here in regulation as she will walk across the timeline. Her team has a three-point lead. She'll give it off to down low. Olenschlager has it. That's her second bucket of the game. It's back to a five-point lead for the Lady Hornets at 51-46. Michael Berger had it for a moment. She'll get it back straight away. Far side with it. It's going to be Fumeller. Back to Eichel Berger. There's a three up by her. No good on the iron. Rebound will be saved by Pulliam. She'll kick it back. Another three up. That one no good. That by Fumeller. Rebound will be taken by St. Elizabeth as they'll get it across the timeline. Wobie will have it. Out at center circle. She'll go right. Now go back left. Now go back right. Now give a pass off. Olin Schlager has it. Now leaves it for Strump. Left wing will be with it. She'll try to drive in, had a screen set, lays it up. Good. Woby has got two more points. It's a 30-second timeout called by St. Elizabeth. This comes with a minute 28 left to go here in the ball game. 53-46 score. As we'll just keep it right here. Again, Blake Gazwa here with you on the Show Me Sports Network. We've got some. Good game set in store today as uh, the second of four games today. We'll see Battle and Boonville matching up. So Boonville having double header action of their own. So it'll be the Pirates and the Spartans matching up. Here about uh, 10 or 15 minutes after the completion of this first game here. So with it will be Eckelberger. There's going to be a shot up no good. That one missed by Imhoff. And she's going to pick up a foul. So we'll go down to the other end. That'll be number two on the freshman team, foul number nine. So we'll walk all the way down. Sorry, number 10, rather. I missed one in there. Nope, oh, that is number nine. It's looking at the wrong place on the score board. First free throw up, good. Free throw up by Olin Schlager, good. She earns the bonus. Second one up. That one also good. She's got six points. It's now a nine-point lead, 55-46. A minute, five seconds left here in the ball game. Pulliam has it. Her shot up from the low post, good. She's got 14, leading the team for the Lady Pirates. And there's going to be a loose ball. However, they'll break the timeline to St. Elizabeth as there's a shot up good. That one by Wobie. 
She's got 19 in the game. So we're at 40 seconds to go here in regulation. Straight away with it. Looking down low is Davis. Spin move. Her shot up. No good. Rebound will be taken by the Lady Hornets. So they'll get it in front court to Wobie once again. She'll drive in, lay it up. Good. Wide open court. Nobody was there except a teammate. So St. Elizabeth now leads by 11. At 59-48, there's going to be a three up. That one up and good. That one taken by Imhoff. So it will be a 30-second timeout by Boonville. This comes with nine seconds left here in the ball game. St. Elizabeth is going to get the win here. They lead by eight, 59-51. In battle in Boonville, we'll match up after a completion of this girls game here. So St. Elizabeth has the basketball, has the eight point lead, nine seconds on the clock. So they will get it into the hands and a front court to Strump. She will not look at the bucket, she'll just dribble out as St. Elizabeth will let the clock wind down. They get the first game win by a final of 59 to 51 over Lady Pirates. Give me a second here as I add this up. Give me your totals and then we'll get our broadcast closed out. Get ready for our second of four today. So taking a look at the scoring summary here for the Lady Hornets. Leading all scores, 21 points put in by freshman Reagan Wobie. 14 points put in by junior Ella Lucas. Also by senior Tori Kimna. Six points by senior Addie Olenschlager. One point put in, or three points by senior Sydney Engelmeyer. One point by junior Lauren Strump. To round out their scoring for Boonville. Their leading score with 14 points was senior Abby Pulliam. Seven points put in by freshman Bella Imhoff. Six points by freshman Kerrigan Cooper, as well as senior Abby Fumeller. Four points by junior Allie Eichelberger. Missed uh, junior Zoe Davis had 12 points in there. I apologize for that. That all coming in the first half of action. And two points finally by senior Zoe Lang to round out the scoring for Boonville. Ball game had eight lead changes, four ties at 2, 28, 42, 44, 46 before St. Elizabeth extends their lead and wins 59-51. Well, that's going to do it for our broadcast of game one of four today. It is game one of 18 here from the 2023 Southern Boone Classic. We're going to take a, a, a quick break and close out our broadcast here and uh, take about a uh, five to ten minute break here and then be back and get you set for boys half of action as uh, for the Show Me Sports Network, I'm Blake Gasaway. It's been my pleasure until we talk to you here in about uh, five or ten minutes. So long and have a great evening. You've been listening to the biggest and absolute best game coverage in mid-Missouri on the exclusive home for local high school basketball, the Show Me Sports Network. Blake Gasaway and the broadcast crew are the ones that know your team the best. Exclusive coverage of local high school basketball has been brought to you by... A